In the first part of this presentation, we'll be looking at Roland's GX24 knife cutting machine. And as previously mentioned, this machine is available with Roland's education kit. This includes a site license of Techsoft's 2D design software and a tutorial manual, which takes you through a range of tutorials showing you how to set up the machine and how to output a wide variety of materials. A starter set of materials is included in the pack to enable you to make the items in the tutorials and the kit is designed predominantly for the teacher or lecturer to work through, learn how to use the machine and then take forward those ideas for projects with the students. Now we're going to have a look at how 2D designed software links directly to the CAM1. You can create a drawing on screen using some very quick and simple routines and then output that drawing directly to the CAM1, controlling both the speed and the pressure of the cut. What we're going to do here is output a very simple drawing that a student may have created. We're going to cut it in a piece of blue sign writing vinyl. Click on layout and type in the size of the material you're going to be using. That gives you the page size on screen showing you the workable area for the GX24. Create your design. In this case, we've got a simple design using the Bezier tool, drawn a couple of fish, a few air bubbles, and then moved it, mirrored it, and then we're ready to go. Next, we're going to load the material into the CAM1, line it up with the front bed strip, put the pinch rollers into the correct position close to the edge of the material, and lock the pinch rollers down by lifting the handle at the back of the machine. Press the Enter key, and that sends the head across to the origin position, and then from 2D design, we simply output. And the machine springs into life. Once the cutting is completed, lift the pinch roller, remove the vinyl, and press the same Enter key to reset the machine ready for the next student to use it. So having cut the vinyl, we weed off the outside that we don't require, like so. Now of course I could peel off those individual bits, but of course commercially what they do is use some application film, such as this, apply that over the top, just use a little squeegee just to press that down. And then what we have here is a very low tack application film which has got a slightly stronger adhesion to the top of the vinyl than the vinyl has to its backing. Having taken that off, we simply apply it to where it's going. Again, just squeegee it down and peel off the application film leaving us with our design applied to the backing sheet.